It's him. <laughs> you kept me waiting, Om. Or should I say, Your Excellency. Perhaps Emperor Rudolph II of Regal. Burkut, listen to... Tell me, how does it feel to possess both Sophia and Regal? I imagine it's wonderful. Though it's a sensation I'll never know. This isn't a conquest for me. I have no illusions the people of Regal will suddenly welcome me as their ruler. But my father placed this land in my care. And I'll do anything for it. Whatever it takes to keep Valentia's people safe. <sighs> the path ahead is a difficult one for us all. So help us, Burkut. Lend us your strength. Regal's people trust and love you far more than me. You and I are cousins, after all. Family. I didn't think I had any family in this world. And yet, here you are. I know we can be close friends as well. Let's work together, Burkut. Put all we have toward ensuring all Valentia is... Silence. Um, what? Listen to you. Offering mercy and trite platitudes from on high. Work together. Us. Don't make me laugh. Strength isn't lent, it's taken! Pride from the grip of your dead foes! What the... So this is what Fernand warned us about. Oh, Rakuta's has taken Anduma's power. He's no longer the man we knew. No! finally found family after all this time. Why did it come to this? <laughs> I have no family. Nor do I want for one. Now stop talking and finish this. End me. And you can stand alone as inheritor of Raquel's royal blood. I never wanted that. Don't you get it? I've spent enough of my life alone. My Lord Burkut. Renea? Renea? Is that really you? Dear, proud Burkut. Even without crown, or throne, or castle, 
You were ever my emperor, a just, right, and noble man. Renea. You were born to lead. This just wasn't your empire. So come with me now. Let us find our empire together. If you'll still take me for your empress. You're right. You were always right. The moment I turned to a power beyond myself, the man you loved was dead. Renea, forgive me. If you'll have me, I'd be honored to set out with you. Burkut! Is that you, Om? Here, take this. A ring? A memento of my mother. Let it be of some use. <laughs> Burkut, no! Please, I don't want to be alone again. Help me rebuild Regal. Tell me about my father. You're not a child anymore. Um, you must make Valentia a land not of gods, but of men. A world where people never again are corrupted by divine power. You can do it. I know you. Why? Someone please tell me. I never got to know you. Or my father. <laughs> Why, it's a treasure vault, of course. Isn't that obvious? Hmm? What's this say? These doors bar all save those of royal blood. The royal treasury. This is where Fulchin was supposed to be stored. So we've been told, yes. Though I believe it found a new home in Mila's skull. One shudders to think of it. Regardless, we've no business here. You sure about that? I doubt Fulchin's the only trinket tucked away in there. Who knows what might be left? Gold? Jewels? Magical doodads? What you think, Alm? Maybe so. Huh? The brand. It's glowing. Om, um, you okay there, buddy? I'm feeling something strange. I need to take a look. Take a look at what? Om? Um, uh, Om? Um, hey, where are you going? Ugh! What in the... Oh, come on. I, I can't get past. It appears the vault really does bar all but the royal family. How cheeky. But oh dear, I do hope Alm will be all right on his own. That's... What are Mila and Fulchin doing here? And what the heck happened? <gasps> Selica! You're all right! <gasps> Celica! Celica, what are you doing? It's me! <sighs> Celica? <laughs> Your words can't reach her, boy. Shut up! The girl has already offered up her soul to Lord Duma. What you see now is a husk, a witch, a puppet loyal to the Dark God's will. No. No! Selica, please! You have to wake up! Go, witch. Offer up your fellow brand bearer's soul to your new master. Ah, the sight of fate's twin children fighting to the death. How marvelous! A reenactment of Duma and Miller's struggles from legend. <laughs> Selica, don't do this! <laughs> You 
crazy? You know I can't do that! Hear me, bearer of Duma's brand. Grass Falcon, now in your hand. What's this? What is the boy doing? Impossible! No one should be able to unbind that blade! Selica, you can't! Selica, Selica, say something, please! Selica! Selica! Oh, Selica! Thank goodness you're okay. But how? I don't know either. But I heard a voice. A very kind voice. It said everything would be alright. And to have faith in Falchion. Um, look! What is that? Om. Um, Om Children of fate. Bearers of the brand. That voice! I am Mela. Your kind call me Goddess. Together with my brother Duma, I shaped this land. Earth Mother! Some have called me by that name. But no such power remains within me. What? See well, Falchin which you now hold. It was carved from the Fang of Naga, ruler of dragons, to sever the gods. For Naga knew there was but a creeping madness waiting at eternity's end. It is a ruin all dragons share, and the only end is one of total destruction. Thus it was that Naga bestowed Falchion upon Duma. She did so to prepare for the day our madness would drive the land to ruin. At 
that the people might have a means to destroy us. That Fulchin might become the fangs they lack and the hope they deserve. And yet, in my foolishness, I sealed the blade away. I did it to protect my brother. I loved my brother even as we loved mankind. Where we strayed, I cannot remember. Mila. Alm, aunties, children of fate. You have overcome much to reach me here, and I thank you both. You have shown me the strength possessed by mankind. Perhaps men have long been walking on their own, without our aid. Perhaps I simply refused to see it. And alas, Duma was no different. I entrust Falchion to your care. I pray you will use it to free my brother from the depths of his pain. Mila! Let's go, Selica. We have to save Duma. For her sake, and ours. Um, I... Listen, Selica. I know you sacrificed your own life to protect me and the others. But I never wanted that. I couldn't ever be happy in a world you died to create. Oh, um... I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Don't apologize. Just know that I need you, alright? Without your wisdom, all I know how to do is fight whatever's in front of me. So please, will you fight with me? Believe in me. Believe in us. Believe in our combined strength. I do. It's as Mila said. We've had the strength to live and fight for our world this whole time. I lost faith in that somewhere along the way. But right now, it seems the most obvious thing in the world. I trust in mankind like I trust in you, Om. Absolutely. And without hesitation. I feel the same, Selica. This isn't where things end for us. Even without gods, this world has a long and prosperous future ahead of it. Now let's go claim that future together!